hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we will learn about new features introduced in 2.42 version of power automate desktop so please watch this video till the end so that you can understand it completely and if you have not subscribed my youtube channel yet please subscribe it so let's get started so in the new version of power automate desktop now we can filter the variables from flow variable section based on the type of the variable right so first of all what i will do is i will create a variable and i will use set variable action i will name this variable as first name right and here i will give the value as john right again i will use another variable set variable and here you can see that the interface is changed right for selecting the variable from the drop down correct so here i will assign the value as 1.2 correct and now here if you click on this select variable section here you have option to select or filter the variables based on the data type right you can also sort the variables so we will see all these things in action in some time and then i will click on save now what i will do is i will read the data from the excel file so this is the excel file that i will read the data from i will go back to power automate desktop and now I will go to Excel. From here, I will use attach to the Excel. And then from this drop down, I will choose the title of the file because that file is already open. And the instance will be stored in the Excel instance variable. And then I will click on save. And then I will use another action which is read data from the Excel worksheet. From the drop down, I will choose all available values from the worksheet, and then from the advanced, I will enable this first line of range contains column names, and the data will be stored in the Excel data variable, which is a data table. And now I will click on save. So now what I will do is I will run the pot, and then we'll see what happens now you can see that new var is having a value and the data type is numeric value in the first name you can see that text value is john and the data type is text value right and in the excel data we have a data table which is having the column and rows so the new feature which has been introduced is when you click on this filter icon now you have options to select which data type you want to display in the flow variables section so if i choose text value you will see that we have only one variable which is first name and if you want to see numeric value type variables also then you need to check this one and if you just want to see the data table type of variables in that case you will use or you will check the data table type right if you have pinned any variable right in that case you can enable or disable based on that right and this is eraser button so if you click on this icon then all the values from these variables will be cleared right when you are setting a variable you can see that we are having this icon which is select variable and then from here if you see that when you choose a variable you have multiple properties inside it 
for example for excel data variable we can see that we are having rows count as property which will return the number of rows and is empty is going to return the whether the data table is empty or not and then we have these columns and columns headers right if you choose this filter icon then you will see same thing what we saw before right if you want to see only numeric values you need to check it in that case you will see only the variables which are having the data type as numeric value and if you are choosing this text value type in that case you need to check it then you will see those variables also which are having the type as text value and once you will click on clear all all the selections will be removed and then if you want to sort it then you can click on sort a to z and if you want to sort in descending order you can say sort z to a right so based on these selections flow variables will be sorted based on that so this is one of the features introduced in 2.42 version of power automate desktop if you like this video please click on the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any question please post it in the comment section thank you for watching have a great day